So today we're going to be talking about finishing strong, looking back at all those goals you set for this year and figuring out how to make the most of the last few months. Coming up next. Everybody. My name is Dee Burks and this is Retirement Rescue where we talk about how to make money, save money, and create a great retirement. Well, I think all of us, or most of us anyway, kind of set goals at the beginning of the year. I absolutely do. I write them down. I have a whole list. It's a big deal to me because I have accomplished so much by setting goals. However, this time of year, it's October when I'm filming this, we have about 16% of the year left, two months. That's about 16%. And it's real easy to have forgotten some of those goals, like I did this year, to not have worked on some of those goals, like I did this year, and to pretend like those goals aren't really there. We'll just forget like they exist and go on. Been there, done that. So we're going to talk about how to maximize these last two months. Now it's really common for people to forget the, the goals they make at the beginning of the year. Um, I think all of us do that to a certain extent. We're all excited about them and then we kind of get into the drudgery of doing some of them and we kind of fall off the wagon. That's totally normal. We all do that. I mean, how many times have you said, oh, I'm going to work, I'm going to get in shape. By January the 15th, you are setting that goal aside. This is so true. Y'all have driven by the gym in January every year. <laughs> a lot of people do this. It's really common. It doesn't mean it's a bad thing. It just means you have to learn how to get yourself back in gear. Now, one of the other things that's really true is the bigger the goal, the more likely it is we're going to not do things toward that goal toward the end of the year. We may do several things throughout the year on that really big goal. We're really excited. But at the end of the year, it's really common to start making excuses. Well, I'm busy. Well, the holidays are coming up. Well, you know, there's next year, which is true. But you could be way further ahead if you just use these last couple of months and really make some forward progress. We all like to use that excuse. Well, I'm busy. No, you're not. You've allowed other things things to become more important than that goal you said was number one this year. Is that really how you want to finish the year out? No, we all let those urgent things get in the way of things that are really important. So now's the time to look at your priorities and say, okay, am I doing things that are important or I'm doing things that are just busy work? and be honest. Now I'm going to give you several steps to get back on track and get some quick wins for the end of the year. And let me tell you how this kind of happened for me. I always have several humongous goals that I'm working on year after year. And then I have other smaller goals. This year one of my goals was I wanted to diversify my investments into real estate. I want to buy some uh, land that I could move my home to and set on a permanent foundation. Uh, that's on my list. Um, I also wanted to buy some uh, fixer-uppers and flip them, maybe turn them into Airbnbs or just flip them into the market and make some money that way. In order to do that, I need to set up a real estate investment company. Setting up a company is very easy. It's done online. Almost all of it, in fact, is done online <laughs> these days. It doesn't take that long. You just have to do it. Have I done it? No. It is October. Oh my goodness. This is an easy win for me. So two weeks ago, I set the company up on the uh, Secretary of State website. I got all that done. I'm getting my uh, EIN number. I'll be setting up a bank account. While those opportunities to invest have not materialized yet, they certainly could before the end of the year. I don't want to be in the position where I want to make an offer on a property. I don't even have a company set up to make an offer. So I really wanted to get that in order. I really wanted to get in shape to do that. And I've started doing that. That is a quick win. Maybe you wanted to start a YouTube channel. 
Maybe you wanted to start a business and need a website. Those are quick, easy wins you can do at the, at the end of the year. I will tell you, the year I decided I was going to start a YouTube channel, I set my channel up in October because I'd been thinking about it for almost a year. But I finally set the channel up. Now that's when I started my real education on YouTube. So I didn't upload a video until February. But there's something about taking that step, setting it up. Whether you set up an investment account because you want to trade stocks, if you want to do real estate, if you want to do a YouTube channel, whatever it is, there is something about taking that step, even if it's at the end of the year, that makes it a real goal. That's why I went ahead and set up my real estate development company. I may or may not use it the, the end of this year, but I will use it and it's there ready for me. Now, if you've thought about setting up a YouTube channel, have you actually taken that step to set it up? Have you actually set up an investment account and started putting money into that account? Have you done those things? If any of those things were on your list this year, those are quick and easy wins. Once they're set up, you feel obligated to take those next steps. The second thing you can do is look at those big goals. One of the reasons that we do not accomplish much on our big goals is because we haven't broken down the steps to accomplishing those goals into small enough chunks. Look at those big goals. See if there are a few things you can do toward the end of the year, small steps toward that big goal. What could those steps be toward the end of the year? And accomplish some of those. Accomplishing something always feels better than accomplishing nothing toward that big goal. So the second way you can get some wins toward the end of the year is look at those big goals and come up with some small steps you can accomplish quickly so you have a little bit of a win toward that goal. Number three, keep it on your list. It is so easy when we become overwhelmed by a big goal that we just drop it. We just drop it off our list. Maybe your goal this year was to lose 40 pounds and get into shape, and here it is, the holiday carb season, and you haven't lost anything. So what? Keep it on your list. Don't convince yourself that you're a loser <laughs> and that it's never going to happen just because it didn't happen in this time frame. Keep it on your list. But this year, and even this fall, take some steps that will help yourself. If you've decided you want to lose 40 pounds and you've made no progress, believe me, not gaining that extra five during the holidays is progress. <laughs> Just not sabotaging yourself is progress. So think about how you can help yourself and then keep that goal on your list for next year. Don't let yourself off the hook just because it gets hard. We all do this. We just want to drop it. No one's going to know. Oh, it'd just be so much easier to quit. But you won't be happier with yourself if you do. So keep it on your list. And think of some ways to get some small wins toward that goal, but keep it on the list. And the last step is get ready to evaluate your year. You have two months to get as far as you can on as many of these goals as you have, knowing at the end of the year, you're going to evaluate your progress. When you really work toward these goals, especially at the end of the year, when you get to the end of the year and you look back, you're like, Oh my goodness, if only I'd paid as much attention to these goals in February, March, April as I did in November and December. How much further along would I be? There is something encouraging about making some progress, especially at the end of the year. You prove to yourself you can make tremendous progress and that proof carries you over into the beginning of next year and makes you much more eager to accomplish all of those goals next year. So get ready to evaluate your year. But in these last two months, you have an opportunity to prove to yourself 
you're going to make some great progress. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.